This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Rick Ross visits Funk Flex to promote Shaq and Kobe's song that just dropped with Meek Mill in the video. It's really good. I think they're doing an EP together. But anyways, he gets deep into the DJ Envy beef. He leans on DJ Envy. DJ Envy hasn't been doing right by everybody out here with his partner, Caesar Pina. Now, if you know Funk Flex and DJ Envy, they've had a... Uh, They've had a beef going on for a decade over, you know, the radio wars, you know? And, uh, you know, it's been Charlemagne and Envy against Flex, you know, basically. Uh, Breakfast Club against Flex. Uh, they've uncovered deep, dark secrets about each other. And it just keeps going on and on and on. Anyways, Rick Ross, of course, goes and does an interview with Flex. And first salutes him on... You know, being the first DJ to embrace cars, you know, have car deals with everybody, but then quickly takes a jab at DJ Envy <laughs> right here. You the only one on radio that rep cars, been repping cars. You have been having deals with Ford and Chevrolet. You have been long talking time. long time, years. Listen to me, you New not York. doing fraud. This guy you ain't right stealing here. cars? <laughs> not you. Not flex. We not selling bad houses. No, we ain't selling fake houses. Oh, no. I knew it was happen. No. Oh, no, we're not gonna steal no old lady houses. And where did things go wrong? Where did things go wrong between Rick Ross and DJ Envy? Well, it all started with car shows. DJ Envy decided he wanted to get into car shows once he was making all that money with real estate. He started expanding his collection. And you know what? Then he started saying, hey, I can get other people's cars, like 50s and others, and, and take them on the road and make some money with car shows. And, you know, they, they do this fake thing where, you know, we're doing this to inspire everybody and this and that. No, no, no. It's a money. It's a money grab. And it's it's good. Okay? It's it's uh, it's entrepreneurial. You know, you're, you're doing a car show. Okay? And you can promote it on the radio. It makes sense. And he's going city to city with these cars, okay? But while he's doing these cars, he's doing he's doing seminars too, okay? But that's another story. So Rick Ross throws his first car show last year. It's huge. And, you know, Envy and him take, like, last year was lighthearted. They were like, oh, come to my car show. Come and then, you know, Rick Ross was like, you don't even know how to change a tire, you know? Like, they were going back and forth like that last year. It was lighthearted. And Rick Ross pulled off a successful uh, car show on his property. That's where he does it. People come in, they buy tickets, they buy, you know, he, he does a whole thing. He probably makes some money, you know, makes some good money that weekend, but it's fun. You know, it's like almost like a fair. You know, it's not like just a, you know, we're going to a, a, a big center where you just pu pull the cars in and it's just a, a dry car show. You know, he makes it like a fair. He, he even had bull riding at his car. I mean, he just had all kinds of stuff. Someone parachuted in from the sky. I mean, it, it was an event. This year, right when they were about to... So, Rick Ross is doing his car show. DJ was doing his. They were taking little shots at each other. But then, the real estate scam broke with DJ Envy and his partner, Cesar Pina. And he was labeled DJ Envious by Rick Ross. And he says, you're making all your money off real estate scams. And Tony the Closer and Rick Ross kind of teamed up a little bit. Tony the Closer really pulled the Band-Aid off of this real estate scam, found the victims where they, and eventually we got, and look, they were doing these real estate seminars all over the country. We don't know how many people were affected by that, right? And DJ Envy's partner, Cesar Pina, seems like he was part of a scam. Maybe DJ Envy was really trying to help people. But the guy Caesar Pina took advantage of Envy and his platform and got people to invest more money. You know, like, oh, and he was reselling the same house to five different investors. Now, yes, the investors weren't doing their due diligence and they weren't checking on the house, see if it actually existed, was work being done on it. This 200 grand you took from me is it even being worked on? You know, they were just getting e e emails like, oh, yep, the plumbing's going in today, this and that, and they were trusting it. That's not smart, okay? But it's, you know, they they trusted that this was real because DJ Envy was promoting it. Well, it turns out, you know, there was this school that they were going to convert into apartments and everything. Like, they sold that to, like, five different investors for, like, 
two million dollars total when the thing was only worth like three hundred thousand. Um, they sold multiple houses. If you watch this video by Spencer Cornelia, he does a great job of breaking down the scam, almost like American greed. Now, Rick Ross in in uh, Funk Flex, they're making fun of this because they're like, oh, you know, they're, they're selling fake houses almost you know like you don't really own the house you know you give the per give caesar money you're not getting a, a deed or anything in return you know you're just they're promising a return on your investment so rick ross is pretending he's selling you know the bridge in brooklyn and in uh the statue of liberty <laughs> In New York. Oh my God, Charlemagne. We are not up here selling man. the Brooklyn Bridge. Hey, Charlemagne, Wait. Charlemagne, come with Flex. Oh, come with Flex. Man. Come on, come on. Shout out to Mr. Touchy Feely. We are not selling the Brooklyn Bridge. You cannot buy that from oh us. Oh my God, you cannot buy the Statue of Liberty. I can work with you, right? Come on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Charlemagne, I just did that for you. You could. And you know, you can hear Funk Flex in the background saying, you're going to jail. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you did fraud, you know? So, um, yeah, they're just having fun with that. And then also Rick Ross tries to broker a deal where Charlemagne leaves the breakfast club and comes and works for Flex. Obviously, that'll never happen. But, um, yeah, man, they're, they're, this is all to promote his new single with Meek Mill. But uh, yeah, DJ Ambi is in quite a bit of trouble, and so is Caesar Pina. Uh, the last, the last thing uh, he just really just emphasized for Charlemagne that he doesn't have a beef with Charlemagne, but like to come over to uh, Hot 97 and also uh, <laughs> promotes <laughs> just just takes jabs at uh, the the whole real estate thing one more time. <laughs> And I'm selling the Brooklyn Bridge for $3 million. And guess what? I got the Statue of Liberty for sale. <laughs> hey, Charlemagne, I rock with you, homie. Rose! I rock with you. I rock with you. Rose is Funk here. Flex told you he got you, but everybody else, we can't do nothing with them. Oh, they they selling the Statue of Liberty. Now, nah, Rick Ross is going hard, but he can go hard now. It's public. You know, there, there's actually things going on in court. Um... And there's there's a lot of exposing videos with victims, you know, like there's people attached to it. It's basically all laid out for the feds. So DJ Envy has to prove that he didn't have anything to do with that. And that the Caesar guy kind of went rogue and did his own thing. Um, Rick Ross and Meek Mill's videos out. Shaq and Kobe, make sure you go check that out. It's very good. And I will check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.